Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi everyone, I'm Georgiana, founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. My mission is to help you to speak English fluently. Hello, dear students. I hope you're well. I'm all right. And I have prepared a special episode for you. We will practice expressions and vocabulary related to the recommendations of health authorities on how to limit the spread of this global pandemic. We will also practice fluency with a new mini story by using the term should among other structures. As I'm sure you know, a global pandemic is affecting the health of many people and also our daily lives. I had planned to do another topic this week, but I think it's worth talking about this instead so that we can learn and practice relevant vocabulary. I thought it would be a good idea to review the indications and recommendations that health authorities give us to prevent the spread of the virus. So in today's episode, we're going to learn some useful and relevant stuff. Before continuing, and as a disclaimer, the only purpose of the episode is to learn English, not give medical advice. Today's episode is not intended as a medical instruction or guidance. For any questions or concerns, please contact a doctor or the health authorities in your country. Okay, now we continue. I'm sure you've heard many times how important it is to wash your hands patiently. Apparently, you have to spend at least 20 seconds washing your hands. Yeah, I know, 20 seconds seems like a lot, but you should do it just in case. We have to wash every single finger and not forget the fingertips. It's especially important to wash regularly and particularly after coughing and sneezing. Soap and water are the most effective. Alcohol-based disinfectant gels can also be used, but it's preferable to use soap instead. Avoid touching your face. I often touch my face without realizing it, and this is not good. We can become infected if we touch our face, especially when we have previously touched a contaminated surface. In particular, try not to touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. Some people have the habit of biting their nails. Please, try not to do that. In any case, wash your hands. An important aspect when we sneeze or cough is to cover our mouth. A tissue is enough, but if we don't have one, we can cough or sneeze into our sleeve. If we do this in the air, we will be releasing the virus into the same space the others are breathing. Therefore, we have to be cautious. Keep your distance from other people. Maintain a distance of at least three feet from other people. If you or someone else is sneezing or coughing, you should keep even more distance. As a matter of common sense, the less contact we have with other people, the better. Every country is taking similar measures, so we have to respect what the authorities say. Wearing a mask. I think wearing a mask is important, but I've seen people walking down the street practically alone and wearing masks. You only need to wear a mask if you're carrying an infected person and if you have a cough or sneeze often. Remember that we have to combine this with the above measures. Ah, and remember to wash your hands before touching the mask. What to do when traveling? With everything that's happening, I recommend not to travel. Besides, there are so many controls. And some countries are even closing their borders. If you really need to travel, take some masks and gloves with you in case you need them. 
and try to cooperate with the police and all the airport staff. These people are probably more tired than you are, so it's best to try to help by following their instructions. And what happens when you cook? When we handle food, for example, when we prepare it before cooking, it's important to disinfect the surfaces where we put it. Also, clean all utensils such as knives. And although it's obvious to remember, wash your hands before doing anything. So, when should you seek medical attention? Finally, if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, it's best to seek medical attention. Call as soon as possible. Also, if you're over 60 years old and have cardiovascular disease, diabetes, or a respiratory condition, you should take the precautions described above and try to avoid spaces with other people. I hope this lesson has been useful, especially for learning English. Hopefully, all of this will pass soon and we can get back to normality. Let's continue with a mini-story. What's a mini-story? A mini-story is very simple. I give you information using phrases and then I ask you questions. After each question, there will be some seconds of silence. It's your turn to answer the question. Just try to give an easy and short answer. After you answer, I'll give you the correct answer. And just like that, I'll tell a story with questions and answers. Are you ready? You should wash your hands with soap and water and for at least 20 seconds. Should you wash your feet with soap and water? No, not the feet, the hands. You should wash your hands with soap and water. But if your feet are dirty, better wash them. With water and soup? No, no, not with soup. Soup is a nutritious food. You should wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. For how many seconds should you wash your hands? For at least 20 seconds. You should wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. You should avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with your hands. Should you avoid touching your elbows? No, no, not the elbows, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. What should you avoid touching your face with? Your hands. You should avoid touching your face with your hands. Should you do it or should you avoid it? Avoid it. You should avoid it. It's important to keep a distance of three feet from other people. Is it important to keep a distance of 300 feet from other people? No, no. 300 feet is too much. The minimum distance is 3 feet or 1 meter. What do you have to keep your distance with? With other people. You have to maintain a minimum distance of 3 feet or 1 meter. How far? Three feet. At least three feet. 
You should cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough because you can transmit the virus through the air. Should you cover your mouth or your ears? Your mouth. You should cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. What should you cover? Your mouth. You should cover your mouth because you can transmit the virus through the air. Why should you cover your mouth? You should cover your mouth because you can spread the virus through the air. Seek medical attention if you have fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. Do you need to seek medical attention if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing? Yes, you need to seek medical attention if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. What should you be looking for? Should you be getting information on the internet? No, no, not on the internet. You need to seek medical attention. If you are over 60, you have to take extreme precautions. How old do you have to be to take extreme precautions? Sixty years old or older. You have to be sixty or older. All right, that's the end of this episode. I hope these expressions and vocabulary are helpful. As you've seen, we've practiced some interesting constructions. Remember to get the transcript at speakenglishpodcast.com. Take care. Bye bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com. Speakenglishpodcast.com.